Hello cheapskaters, I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first visit to our channel, welcome. And if it's not, welcome back. How to buy without cash. Well, it is possible to survive without cash, and I don't mean use a credit card instead. You know, since the beginning of time, mankind has bartered for needs, for wants, for desires. In fact, bartering predates the use of currency. Money, coins, dollar notes, <laughs> pound notes, euros. And as the economy tightens, more and more people will be looking for creative ways to get what they need. And bartering is becoming more and more attractive to cash-strapped Australians. So why would you barter? Well, first off, to save money, to save time and to save energy, the three bigs for cheapskaters. Then you'd barter to get the things you need without going over budget. You'd barter to get the things you want without going over budget because remember, needs and wants are two different things. You'd barter to declutter things you no longer need, you no longer use or you no longer want for the things that you do need, that you do use or that you do want. You would barter to pass older toys on for new playthings for the children. You would barter to recycle and be kinder to the environment rather than dump perfectly good and useful things. You would barter to trade things you love doing for jobs you don't like doing. I don't mind mending, but I hate cleaning the chimney. That's why you'd barter. That's just a few examples. Now, the dictionary defines bartering as trading goods or services without the exchange of money. Now, as a cheapskate, I love the idea of bartering. And over the years, I've used simple barters for all sorts of things. Casual bartering takes place all over the country, all over Australia, probably all over the world, every single day. It could be as simple as, you know, have you ever swapped um, some tomatoes for a couple of loaves of bread? Or have you ever swapped some lemons for a cake or eggs for fresh baked bread? Or have you ever done some gardening for a neighbour in return for some mending or a haircut? If you have, you've bartered. You're an expert. You're a pro. You're an old hand at it. So don't be afraid of it. You know, you can trade haircuts for sewing, tomatoes for books, homemade pickles and jams for ironing, lawn mowing for babysitting. Now, they're all trades that over the years have helped us as a family to have what we need and what we want without having to take money out of our budget, our very tight budget. <sighs> Swapping something you don't need, you know, excess garden produce, for example, for something you do need, which, you know, could be the hems taken up on new trousers, just makes sense. Bartering is simply exchanging goods or services to the value rather than cash so that the success of your barter relies on you having something people either want or need. It's easy to start bartering. You just have to ask people if they're willing to trade. Get to know them, find out their skills, their talents, their hobbies, their professions and share yours with them and you are bound to find something useful to trade. Now before you start, do some research, you know, find out the, you know, RRP, the recommended retail price of the items or skills you're trading. A basket of homegrown veggies might cost $60, but 
while lawn mowing costs forty dollars. So how are you going to make up the discrepancy in the value? Are you going to give or accept cash? Or perhaps you're going to accept future goods or services to make up the value. Be prepared to haggle over that. <laughs> you will need to do that with some things, especially if you are bartering with strangers, because bartering with strangers requires both parties to trust that the other is honest and reliable. Now, we know we're honest and reliable. Do we know that about the stranger? Because unlike a retail sale, there are no regulations to protect you. It's a barter done between two people. If you're not sure about bartering, you've not done it before, you're a bit nervous, start with small barters with people you know. It might be school mums or church friends, neighbours, colleagues, family. And as you become more confident with bartering, you'll get better at it. And you'll find yourself opening up to, oh, goodness, so many opportunities and the trades will come from all over, often without you asking for them. Another thing you can do is look for trading set up, um, trading tables set up in your neighbourhood. Now, they are popping up all over the place. They might be at your local neighbourhood house or the library or a church, even outside some op shops. Or it could be something as simple as, you know, a folding table next to someone's lunch um, lunchbox, letterbox. Now, these work on the honesty system. You drop something off to replace what you take. You need to be a bit, you know, you need to be a bit careful and make sure that you are not, um, I don't think any of us would, but just make sure that what you're leaving is worth leaving. If you can't find one, set one up. Start small, let your neighbours know, tell family and friends, remind school mums and dads, tell your church family, encourage them to bring their excess that they don't need, they don't use, they don't want to swap for something that they do need, they do use, they do want. They'll save some cash, get rid of something that's useless to them, so it's just wasted money or something valuable. Now, while bartering is looked on as an old-fashioned and simple way of getting what you want, it is really very, very quickly becoming popular. And, you know, not just with the cash strapped amongst us. Bartering can be useful, can be useful just to just about everyone for so many reasons. So try it for yourself. And see how just you and see just how useful trading and bartering can be for you. Before I go, I just want to say thank you for watching. If you've made it this far, if you're not already subscribed to our channel, please click that subscribe button and then the bell next to it, and that will notify you every time we go live or we upload a new video. And if you know someone who might like this video or who might like our channel or should know about the Cheapskates Club, there's a share link. Click that. All it does is send them the link. We don't harass them. It's entirely up to them if they choose to follow that link. And lastly, if you're subscribed, you're in the draw for our um, giveaway, which is a Sunbeam Food Lab food dehydrator. So you need to be subscribed if you want to be in the draw for that. And if you're overseas, don't panic. We've worked it out. You can still be in the draw. All righty. Thank you so much for watching. Happy cheapskating.